Last week, you remember I got introduced to Kim Stanley Robinson, one of the greatest living science fiction authors. And I got to write him and tell him about the Air Miners Conference and thank him for his, for his influence in creating an imagination around pulling carbon from the air. And last week, I was happy to just send that thank you off into the ether and didn't expect anything back. But on Wednesday, he wrote back and he wants to give the introductory remarks to the Air Miners Conference. That is freaking so cool. Uh, and it was, it was great to hear from all of you last week, hearing that there's, there's other Kim Stanley Robinson fans out there. The Red Mars, uh, the, the Mars series is a, clearly a big influence on, um, on so many people. I'm particularly excited because I read Red Mars in college. Uh, it was recommended by a friend of mine, Max Gleason. And it just opened up this whole world of, of, of imagination. I was studying biotechnology at the time, studying biomedical engineering at Brown. And just the idea of terraforming on Mars, on how those, those missions began on, began on Earth, it, it really was a, a core to my, to my work in, in biotech, whether it was building PCR machines or starting biotech labs or doing experiments in a garage. And what's so cool is uh, about a year ago, I reread Red Mars, but this time with more of a lens of, of climate and environment. And what was so cool was, I mean, I cracked, I cracked it open, right? And the term air miners was in there. I mean, talk about like something that inspired me uh, coming out of college. Uh, and then that same book inspired me in a totally kind of the same way, but, but with a, a completely different take on it. Um, so that was really exciting. So, so Kim Stanley Robinson as an author uh, means a lot to me. He's written a ton uh, on, on climate and the environment. Um, very recently, if you're not familiar with his work, um, he's got a number of books that are focused on, on thinking about climate and futures. Um, and he's also got these two articles that published just in the last uh, two months. One was in uh, Bloomberg Green, and the other, the other was in The New Yorker. Uh, the Bloomberg Green article was uh, making the Fed's money printer go burr for the planet. And he's talking about like carbon coins. And then in uh, The Coronavirus is Rewriting Our Imaginations, He's talking about the, the age of climate change. So if, you haven't, if, it, uh, if you're not familiar with Kim Stanley Robinson, you can check out these two articles as a place to start. Um, but really, his books are, are incredible. Um, in particular, I, I, of course, recommend Red Mars. Uh, and I'm really excited about catching up on his, uh, his, most recent, uh, his most recent book, Red Moon. This is history in the making. The age of the air miner has begun. Join us on May 13th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're not already registered, uh, we're going to have a quick opening. Kim Stanley Robinson is giving the introductory remarks. Then we're going to be hearing from Klaus Lackner, uh, as well as some incredible panelists talking about business models and technology. Then we're going to be hearing uh, from open spaces. So these are ideas that people are, are bringing to the forefront and we're going to be voting on. Uh, and finally, Dr. Lisa Dyson is going to be giving our closing keynote. This has never happened before. Come check it out. Uh, and I'm super excited to hear Kim Stanley Robinson's introductory remarks. Hey, if you like this YouTube update, hit subscribe. I've also got a weekly newsletter that you can check out at bit.ly slash carbon updates.